next week. Right now, an Orlando area state attorney sacked by Governor Ron DeSantis. He suspended Monique Worrell for what he calls, quote, neglect of duty and incompetence. The governor says she was too lenient and declined to prosecute certain charges. And Local 10's Christina Vasquez is in Miami with reaction to what some say is on politics. We are hearing from the prosecutors, voters elected, but the governor suspended. Prosecutors have a duty to faithfully enforce the law. For the second time. One's political agenda cannot trump this solemn duty. Florida's Republican governor has ousted a Democratic prosecutor, voters elected. Neglect of duty. On this round, suspending Orange Osceola State Attorney Monique Worrell, who ran as a criminal justice reformer. Effective immediately. Accusing her of being too soft on crime. Allowing juvenile offenders to avoid serious charges and incarceration altogether. I did exactly what I said I would do, and that is what you want from an elected official. Last time, it was Hillsborough State Attorney Andrew Warren following his abortion law policy remarks. For politics and for publicity. Both Worrell and Warren are Democrats who won their 2020 races by a comfortable margin. Broward State Attorney Harold Pryor, a Democrat, posting to a personal social media account, quote, whenever possible, decisions about elected officials should be made by the voters at the ballot box. We have a right to act. Prosecutorial discretion. It, this is built into the law. At a Florida Democrats event in Southwest Miami-Dade, 2024 Democrat the candidate for Miami-Dade Supervisor of Elections, Juan Carlos J.C. Planas, says of concern, constitutional separation of powers. Extremely worrisome because there are elections for these positions. The governor has the authority to do this. It's in the Constitution of the state of Florida. Here's NSU Politics and History Professor Charles Zeldin. It is absolutely frustrating that you make a choice and the governor, who's of a different party, says, we don't believe in your choice. It is, in a broad sense, undemocratic. Miami-Dade State Attorney's Office did not respond to a request for comment. You can read through the governor's executive orders of suspensions right now on Local10.com. In Southwest Miami-Dade, I'm Christina Vasquez, Local 10 News.